Ryan Sethio, I'm back with Patrick Schwarzenegger. Give it up! So, you may not know this, but today is Jackie Robinson Day. 74 years ago today, Jackie Robinson stepped up to home plate, making history as the first black professional player in Major League Baseball. It was a big moment for desegregation in this country. My next guest honored Jackie Robinson's legacy by using baseball to change kids' lives. Take a look. I am CJ Stewart, Chief Visionary Officer for LEAD, which stands for Launch, Expose, Advise, Direct. And I'm here with my beautiful wife, Kelly Stewart. Here in Atlanta, we empower over 350 boys every year, teaching them how to use the sport of baseball to overcome crime, poverty, and racism. Born and raised in the inner city of Atlanta, I needed a lot of support, and baseball was my ticket out of poverty. We use the many life lessons that you can learn through the game of baseball from how you prepare, how you practice, and how you compete in actually playing a game to teach our boys how to build a framework for life. And that's how we equip our boys to live amazing lives. Over the years, CJ and Kelly have helped more than 5,000 kids. That makes them rad humans. So we actually have them on the line. CJ and Kelly, meet Patrick. Hey. Hello. Hey, hey Patrick. Everybody. How are you? Doing well. Um, so you, CJ, you say baseball changed your entire life. How? Um, my family, I was born and raised here in the inner city of Atlanta in poverty, but my parents, through hard work, uh, moved to working class. But um, I was having a hard time connecting in school, but eventually earned a scholarship to play baseball at Georgia State University. Uh, then went on and achieved my childhood dream of playing professional baseball in the Cubs organization. Wow. Um, and then when my career was over and I retired, I uh, came back home and started coaching. I got really good, really fast, along with, a, with the help of a lot of mentors and uh, just built up this amazing for-profit business. But then I got this call to come back home in Atlanta to help black boys that were living in the inner city of Atlanta like me mm -hmm. and just giving them an opportunity to win at the game of life. It's all about them becoming major league citizens. Because I play professional baseball, the thought is that I'm trying to help them become major leaguers. But we wanted to be major league citizens. We scout the counted out. Uh, black boys that are struggling with grades, attendance, and behavior. And many of these boys in their schools, uh, the schools use in school and out of school suspension as a tool uh, to discipline them. And then for us, we're using the sport of baseball as positive reinforcement. I love that, major league citizen. That's great, man. Oh, that's so good. Um, so how exactly does the program work? So our program starts in the sixth grade. And for us, teaching the baseball part is not hard at all. We want to make sure that we get on the same page from a mission, vision, core value standpoint. So we start off teaching core values. We have an amazing curriculum called Habitudes that uses images to teach the habits and attitudes that we want our boys to have to be amazing student athletes and human beings. Um, also, we teach them in a handle your business class how to create and maintain healthy relationships so they can grow and have amazing lives. And then that's when they really start to get engaged with me and I focus on teaching them how to participate, mm -hmm. how to practice, how to play, and then how to perform because uh, many of them do want to use baseball to go to college and you can't just play the game, you got to perform at that level. Yeah. I know that you played sports. We were talking about that in the, in the commercial break. Um, I knew I wasn't going to be like a pro athlete or anything, but I feel like it helped me in a lot of different areas. Do you feel that way? Yeah, no, I knew I wasn't going to be a pro athlete either pretty early mm -hmm. on. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, look, it, it helps with everything from, you know, teamwork to, mm -hmm. uh, you know, core values like you're talking about, determination. So, I mean, what you guys are doing is, is, is amazing, and, and I got to read a little bit about your work. So, um, I'm glad that you're highlighting their work. Yeah, absolutely. I also think following through, like you have to, like I couldn't not show up for a game. I couldn't not show up for my team. That was a huge thing. Um, but I think there's a lot of lessons there that help, like you said, in, in life, um, not just in, in actually just, just baseball. Um, so I think it's really important, the, the opportunity that you're creating for these young men. So Kelly, you've had impressive success with this, right? Absolutely. So as sports people, baseball people, stats are very important. So for 
the young men who finish our program 100% graduate from high school, 93% go on to enroll in college, 90% receive some form of scholarship money, 19% um, of our alums have graduated from college, and about 14% go on to serve in the military, enter the workforce, or become entrepreneurs. So we've had some amazing success. Wow. And who knows, you know, where they would have gone, you know, if they wouldn't have had that opportunity, that outlet. That's what's, that's what's really cool about what you're doing. Um, so we have two great success stories from Lead on the Line now. Let's everybody welcome Jaboris and Zay. Woo! What's up, y'all? What's up? <laughs> So, Jaboris, I'll start with you. Um, tell us about your time with Lead. Well, Lead, first he started off with two of my cousins. Um, my mom and grandma kept telling me that I should try out. So I took up their offer, came on over, worked for a little bit. I seen that I liked it. So started working with Lead. Then I started getting absences days with Lead and tardies. So, Coach Kelly told me I couldn't get my gear. So when she told me that, I said, well, I need to go ahead and get myself together because <laughs> I can't be having that on my clenches. <laughs> oh, my gosh, I love you. You were like, so train A to train B. I know how to get this done. Um, well, I, I love that. So Zay, lead helped you turn your life around, right? It did. Um, for me, um, I was going down the wrong road, um, to be honest. I was hanging around the wrong people, doing the wrong things, involved in drugs, and um, my family was struggling hard. We were uh, all in one hotel room. Um, I went to school one morning, and I was told to go to the library. Uh, there was a speaker there. Honestly, I didn't care. I didn't know who CJ Stewart was. I didn't care what he had to say. But when I got there, he told me that he was where I'm from, and he went through the same things I went through. So that opened my ears and made me pay attention to him more. Um, I felt comfortable after he said that. I told him that me and my family were struggling and we needed help. And it went from us being in a small hotel room together to us being in a bigger hotel room and then to us further on getting the house through Coach CJ and Coach Kelly and Lee. Um, after that, the things that I learned from Coach CJ and Coach Kelly and uh, like the leadership roles that I was able to play while being in lead, it led me to being a United States Marine, and I'm happy for it. Oh my gosh, well thank you so much, first of all, for your service. I have to say, it's, it's one of those things, I feel like in my life, I've said this on this show before, I feel like I would not have gotten where I am, and I, I came from nothing, like without these people, like I call them little angels, like CJ and Kelly would be angels. Like they just come in your life and they, they help you turn it around. They give you opportunity. They give you hope, light at the end of the tunnel. Like, do you feel like that? You feel like, I feel like if more people had this opportunity. One of the quotes I actually have at my house in my room is show me your friends and I'll show you your future. And kind of the people you surround yourself with is a good example of where you can see yourself going. And I think that one of those examples you just said was you were hanging around the wrong people and this coach brought you into a whole new life, surrounded you with a new group of individuals, and that showed you a whole new way of being. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. Like I said, always on this show, it's, I always say it, but opportunity changes everything. Yeah. Um, well, Jaboris and Zay, there's something you both want to say to CJ and Kelly, right? Jaboris, you want to start? I would like to say thank you, Coach CJ and Coach Kelly, because without you two, I would have never learned how to manage myself and not go off of what anybody else said. How about you, Zay? Um, I would like to say thank Coach Kelly and Coach CJ. I say coach, but they're more of a family. Um, without you all, I honestly feel like I wouldn't be where I am right now. Because when y'all found me, we all know for a fact it was hard. And it still is, but I know for a fact with you all help that I'm somewhere better and I'm going to continue to strive. Thank you. I love y'all and y'all family. Ah. Uh... You, you have to be so proud, CJ and Kelly. I mean, to have this idea and then it come to fruition and then actually be able to, like, help people. I mean, that's, like, the biggest gift on the planet is to be, to be able not just to receive but to give. Mm. It's got to feel so great. I'm just fortunate that I get an opportunity to use a game that I love 
to move people the way I was moved and the way the community uh, stepped into my life to help me uh, become. And so it's just a blessing to be able to be able to do that. Well, we love what LEAD is doing and we want to see it keep growing. Um, so we reached out to Academy Sports and Outdoors, the leading full line sporting goods and outdoor recreation retailer in the United States. And they love the work that you're doing with LEAD as well, um, which is why they're donating $10,000. How's that sound? Whoa! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she, she just loved <laughs> Yeah. She was, I had to do a hallelujah dance. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. I'm looking, I'm just the frame and everything. I'm sorry. Are we, are we right? I'm sorry. Oh, no. That was Woo! amazing. Thank and, you. And, you know, they're very proud of all the work you're doing. We are, too. And and I can't wait. I want you all to come back. I want to I want to see and hear about more success stories. That was really cool. Um, thank you so much, um, Jaboris and Zay. This is a really cool thing that you're able to share your stories and that you're vulnerable enough to do it. Um, because you have no idea the lasting effect, the domino effects it makes on other kids your age that maybe you're going through stuff that do they don't have that light at the end of the tunnel. So thank you so much. Yep, I'm still here. Just waiting for you to subscribe. If you don't, I'll be trapped in this box forever.